Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore a filter called Dynamic Gradient. I have opened a sample file. It is a preview sphere. Uh, you can open it from file and then you, ha you have this open sample and then you can choose the preview sphere file and then I've deleted all the layers to start, start from the scratch. So right now I've got uh, nothing on this layer. So I'm going to create a new fill layer. And in this fill layer, I'm going to take a add fill node. In that, I'm going to uh, add a texture, okay? So I'll go to the procedurals and then choose this black and white spot and just drop on top of it. Okay. Now you got this texture and it has got a range of uh, black to white. And then um, I can just take an image and part of that image can be uh, used to remap the colors of this black to white. And I'm going to take this uh, filter node and then in filter, I'm going to add this gradient dynamic. And then you could able to see here, it's asking an image. So I've created an image just for sake of understanding. You could see if I just go this way, okay, you have black, green, blue. Then if I move further, red, yellow, magenta, magenta, white. And you, and uh, if I just uh, do this thing, uh, instead of like that, if I come like this, okay, then you have, uh, you know, colors changing accordingly. So let me add this uh, texture which I've already added into it, just drop it here. I should be able to see the gradient orientation is horizontal. And right now I've got red and magenta colors remapped to my texture. So red and magenta is this, okay? So let me uh, start changing the value of gradient input position. And uh, I'm moving it and there's no change. And I move it a little bit here. Then you should be able to see I got yellow, green and white. Green yellow and white now i'll just move it further now you got uh, black magenta and red now just move it further here then you get a blue and magenta okay that colors are remapped if i just choose this to vertical now you got blue uh, green black and blue right now if i just move further red yellow and magenta red yellow and magenta then again you get blue black then i get that white magenta and then so you're understanding right it's taking a a strip of um, this image and it's remapping these colors onto our image when i'm changing the value this strip is picking samples from the next area the next area and you got the colors picking from here very similarly when i'm doing the horizontal then you get that sorry it's vertical okay so you should be able to see that both this is vertical and that is horizontal. You can pick any other image also, which is more dynamic. And then you get this very dynamic noise texture. You can preferably take a monochromatic color. And then uh, if you see this picture, it is like uh, um, having colors in, uh, I mean, motion blurred in the, I mean, it's like horizontal texture, it's not vertical. So um, it's only taking one of the color and it's just moving like that. However, if I change this direction to vertical, you see that all colors, which are basically vertical, all right? So all colors in vertical are taken here. So I can move this and you should be able to see as the color uh, here is like same, moving all the way side and it's not changing the color there. Whereas in horizontal, it changes the color, but it uh, is a solid color. It keeps changing to different color there, isn't it? Uh, you can have, uh, I mean, explore this texture. I mean, solid black and white textures uh, are not recommended here. Uh, in the sense, it takes only two different colors, okay? It doesn't take uh, dynamic colors because white is remapped to one color, black is remapped to another color. Take a texture which has a big range of uh, gradients, I mean, uh, gray colors, full range of gray. Just black and white is of no use at all, okay? So a noisy texture would be a, a fine choice for that. 